This Shabbat, we talk about the revelation at Sinai, a powerful moment of revelation between God Almighty and His people Israel, and an empowering moment, because God gave us the ability to take the physical world and all of the ingredients in it and utilize it as a vehicle to make this world, a garden of God, a beautiful place of kindness, of gentleness, of godliness. Now, in the presentation of the Ten Commandments, there are so many correlations between the right-hand side, the five that talk about our connection to God, and the left-hand side that talk about our connection to one another as human beings. But I'd like to share a thought about the inverse correlation between the right-hand side, between man and God, and the left-hand side, which relates to our responsibilities to one another. We'll take a look at the right-hand side. It begins by saying, I am the Lord your God, there shall be no other gods before me. That is in the realm of machshaba, which is thought, how we're thinking. And then it continues to say, do not take my name in vain, which goes to the realm of speech, dibur. And then right at the end, it talks about honoring parents and keeping Shabbat, which relates to action. So the relationship between ourselves and God moves from thought to speech to action. But look at the left-hand side. It begins by talking about do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal actions. Then it says, do not bear false testimony against one another, the world of speech. And right at the end, the 10th commandment is do not covet, which governs the way we think about one another. So why is it when it comes to our relationship with God, the right hand side of the 10 commandments, we move from thought to speech and then to action. But when we talk about our responsibilities to one another, the design is the exact reverse, inverse. We start by talking about action and then speech and then thought. Well, perhaps the idea is that when it comes to religion, we think that religion is relegated and limited to the realm of thought. Religion is how we think. It is how we believe. It's what's in our heart that is important. That is where religion takes place. Comes the Torah and tells us that religion from a Jewish point of view is never to be limited just to the way we think and the way we feel. We have to take those thoughts and those feelings and impact on the way we speak and even on the way we act. Because Judaism is not just a religion of belief. It's about the actions and activities and responsibilities in the real world, the doing world, that is so important to express our religion. On the left-hand side, when it comes to interpersonal relationships, most constitutions in the world think about human responsibility to the world of action. Most constitutions govern the way we behave. One paragraph may be about hate speech, speech, but no constitution talks about the way we think, because who would know how we think? How could there ever be a governing of the way we think? And here the Torah is saying a very profound statement. When it comes to interpersonal relationships, don't rely on the fact that you've governed behavior or even the way we speak. We have to change the way we think. Because if we don't think with love and with kindness and giving space to one another, then no rules in the world will uplift a society if we're not thinking differently about one another. So on the right hand side between ourselves and God, take your thoughts and bring them into action. On the left hand side between human beings, make sure that your actions are going to be inspired by a new thinking. And we feel it in the world today when anti-Semitism has spread as a wildfire as we never thought it possible again after the Holocaust and after all the hate that the world has experienced. And yet we see that although officially there are rules and regulations as to how one can speak and how one is able to act towards another group of people, just beneath the surface, so much hatred was seething, was waiting to be exposed, and in a moment was exposed around the world. We're not going to govern people's behaviors by simply saying, you are not allowed to act in an inappropriate way to another human being. We have to train ourselves to think differently. People have to un understand the needs of one another and think kindly and caringly about one another. We will not root out the way people behave towards Jews or towards any minority that has been suffering. 
unless we change the way we think. And so on the left hand side, the Torah tells us in the Ten Commandments, don't just talk about action between one another or even speech. Make sure we think differently about one another. Have a beautiful Shabbos.